Hey Dolphins, I'm Griffin Gibbony and welcome to episode 10 of the CI Views Entertainment Recap, a recurring series to always keep you in the loop about all things entertainment and pop culture news. We have a lot to go over today, so make sure to grab some popcorn and get comfortable. This week, I'm going to take a quick break from my usual box office rundown, as it has been a bit of a slow month for new releases. Instead, I'm going to fill you all in on a pretty major story from the last week, which is regarding Netflix. On Tuesday, April 19th, streaming giant Netflix revealed that they lost over 200,000 subscribers in the first quarter of 2022, and expects to lose 2 million more in the second quarter of the year. As a result of this pretty shocking announcement, Netflix's stock dropped by 35%, cutting the company's value by over $50 billion. This is the lowest Netflix's stock has been since almost 20 years ago in 2004. In response to this, it seems like Netflix has a few ideas in the works to keep growing past this setback. First of all, they are likely going to start cracking down on password sharing. This is when several individuals from different households share the same Netflix account using the services profiles feature. If Netflix is able to figure out a way to prevent this, the people who are kicked off of those accounts due to the crackdown will have to subscribe themselves and then Netflix will continue to gain subscribers. Netflix estimates that 100 million households are currently sharing passwords, likely due to Netflix's high subscription price. Another option the company is considering is to create an ad-supported plan which will reduce the subscription price leading them to gain back the people they lost when they raised prices. Netflix also plans to cut back on spending for their original content, which they currently spend an exorbitant amount of money on. It'll be interesting to see what Netflix does in the near future, as well as other major streaming services, as they are also likely scared by this sudden turn for the worst. All of them will likely make big changes very soon, such as ad-supported plans, spending less on original content, and making blockbuster movies streaming exclusives to boost revenue. Dolphins, this is a very fascinating story. Make sure to stay tuned to future episodes of Entertainment Recap for updates as this story progresses. Moving over to upcoming releases, there are no major releases in theaters this week. This is because no studio wants to release a movie right before Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, which is Marvel Studios' next big movie, releasing next Friday. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness is on track to being the biggest debut since Spider-Man No Way Home. Studios are pretty smart not to release anything the week before, because they would only have this week to make money before Doctor Strange moves in next week and dominates the box office. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness debuts Friday, May 6th exclusively in theaters, and tickets are now on sale. Over on streaming, some major new releases include The Batman, which is now available to stream on HBO Max. Speaking of HBO Max, Bill Hader's comedy drama, Barry, debuted season three this past week, along with season two of Kaylee Cuoco's The Flight Attendant. Over on Netflix, the final season of Grace and Frankie, starring Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin, debuts today, as well as the final episodes of mega-hit Ozark, starring Jason Bateman and Laura Linney, also debuts today. This week, I'm going to tell you about some great local theater opportunities, as there are quite a few to choose from. First up, the Simi Valley Cultural Arts Center began performances of the hilarious musical comedy Something Rotten this past weekend. Due to breakthrough COVID cases, they were forced to cancel this weekend's performances, but performances are scheduled to resume next Friday, May 6th. Next up, High Street Arts Center's production of Lin-Manuel Miranda's masterpiece In the Heights runs for two more weekends, this weekend and next. Don't miss these two great local theater opportunities. Additionally, if you are looking for some Broadway-level theater in Los Angeles, there is no shortage right now. Tootsie the Musical opened at the Dolby Theater this past Tuesday and is running until May 15th, and Hadestown, the 2019 Tony Award winner for Best Musical, also opened at the Amundsen Theater this past Tuesday and will run until May 29th. Well, Dolphins, we've come to the end of another episode of the CIV's Entertainment Recap. And while this is the last episode of Entertainment Recap for this semester, stay tuned because there's always something new from the CI View.